Okay, so here is the third part of this one objective. Um, and, it, and it has to do with really absolute value inequalities still. So it's, it's still a continuation of the absolute value inequalities. So, uh, and it's a word problem. I hope you like them. Here's one. If you don't, well, just pretend like you do. If you pretend long enough, um, you won't be able to tell whether you're pretending or not, and nobody else will either. Anyway, uh, so a professional baseball should weigh one uh, 5.125 ounces, apparently, with a tolerance of 0.125 ounces. What a tolerance means is that, well, you can tolerate it, right? It's an error that you go, oh, it's okay. It could go up by that amount, or you could go down by that amount, and it's still going to be okay, all right? So tolerance, it says right there in the parentheses, is a maximum deviation from the ideal measurement. Okay, so we're going to write and solve an absolute value inequality that describes the acceptable weights of a baseball. All right, so what I'm going to say on this is, well, let's just start writing things and, and see what we come up with. First of all, let's take this tolerance thing. This tolerance means that I can be plus or minus, I can go above or beyond the ideal weight of 0.125. And that ideal weight, the ideal weight for the baseball is how much? That's that 5.125. 5.125. Okay. So uh, let's just put this on a number one and see if we can make sense of it, okay? Okay, sounds good. So I need... Let's put a smack dab in the middle here, this ideal weight, let's call it 5.125. And I'm allowed to go up by 0.125, and I'm allowed to go down by 0.125. Can you see how this is like an absolute value problem? It's saying the distance away from that middle, that, that number right there, that 5.125, is 0.125. I can go above it, and I can go below it. Okay, so it's going to have some absolute values in it. So let's get, uh, let's get those numbers there. So if I add 0.125 to that, I get, let's see, 125 and 125 is uh, 250, so 0.25. And then if I take it away, right down here I have just 5. So basically my ideal baseball can go, or my any baseball really can go anywhere from five ounces all the way up to five and a quarter ounces and it'll be okay I can tolerate okay so I want to write this as an absolute value inequality absolute value inequality is I still need a distance a distance away from some number well we know that this is the distance right there that's the tolerance and the tolerance gives me the distance from either side of what number that's the ideal weight. That's the 5.125. Okay, so I'm going to write this. Let's use this acceptable weight of a baseball. Let's just use the variable b. Does that sound okay? So I'm going to write this as absolute value of b minus 5.125. So, so far this statement in math says the distance away from 5.125. And I want everything that's in between there. Anything in between those two dots is okay. So that distance has to be less than or equal to. And then uh, what was that distance? 0.125. Okay. So there is my absolute value inequality. Now let me point out, let me uh, color this another color here, and point out a couple of things. First of all, the number that we're finding the distance away from, right there, that's the ideal weight. Right? Okay, and the distance that it is on either side, that is the tolerance. There we go. I finally spelled it correctly. All right, so uh, then it does say to solve it, and the solve it is basically these two numbers right here. If I were to, I could set it up and solve it like I did the previous ones, but I already see from the graph where the answer is supposed to be, so it's between 5 and, what would be, and 5.25. Those are the acceptable weights for baseball. Okay, so the next question, question 7, is very similar to this. 
you found that your new winter coat is comfortable to wear when the outdoor temperature is between 10 degrees Fahrenheit and 42 degrees Fahrenheit inclusive. What does inclusive mean? Inclusive means that it includes the two endpoints. So it includes 10 and it includes uh, 42 and everything in between there. If it had used the word exclusive, it would be everything in between there, but not 10 and 42. Anyway, write an absolute value inequality for this temperature range in degrees Fahrenheit. So this time I don't have a tolerance. I don't know how much bigger it is on either side, plus or minus. Also, I don't have an ideal one. All I have is the endpoints of my interval. So let me just put it on a number line here and go here's 10 and uh, here's 42. And I get to have either of those two numbers and everything that's in between there. So let's just go back for a second in the previous one and, and try to figure out what we're supposed to do here. So look at the picture right here, the graph. When I got the tolerance, the tolerance was the uh, distance away from the ideal. And look at where the ideal is in between the two endpoints. It's right in the middle. It is right in the middle. It is the average of those two endpoints. So that's what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to average them. So get the point that's right in the middle. If I average these two, I get 10 plus the 42 is 52. There's two of them, so divide by two, it's 26. So the ideal temperature for your coat, winter coat apparently, comfort-wise is 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, what else do I need? I got my center number, my middle number, the ideal number. Now I need the distance away, the, the tolerance basically. I need how far is this away on either side? Okay, and uh, the easier side is the one that's from 10 because you just subtract 10, right? 26 minus 10 is 16. So this must be 16 on either side, right? Uh, yeah, so there you go. So that's the uh, like tolerance thing. So let's write this as an absolute value inequality. I would go, let's uh, use this T temperature as the variable. The absolute value T minus, and it's the middle number, it's 26. So, so far I'm saying the distance away from the number 26, and it's in between those two, so it has to be an equal, less than or equal to, and now the tolerance, which is 16. So there's the absolute value inequality. And if I'm going to solve it, well, I was pretty much given the solution already. It is in between 10 and uh, 42, right? So there would be the answer for that thing. So it's being able to write it in another way in terms of absolute value inequalities and understanding that what is this number that's inside the absolute value brackets? That's the ideal, which just happens to also be the middle number. It's, it's the average of the two endpoints. And what is the number that's on the outside? That's the distance away from that middle number which in these application problems is called the tolerance. All right, then. That'll do it. So uh, this lesson, what we were talking about, is solving and graphing absolute value equations and inequalities. So in that picture there, perhaps, depending on uh, when you view this video, maybe you know this guy. Um, so I proposed, and I'm going to also propose to you, a small little bonus assignment that will go on the quiz that you'll take for this section. I will say that this is worth 10 points. If you will take a photograph of you doing something similar in your backyard, you're demonstrating absolute value by digging a hole in the dirt, like we talked about at the very beginning of this lesson, take a picture, photo evidence, and either email it to me or print it off and attach it to your quiz. That'll be worth 10 points on your, on your quiz grade. Now, um, I will warn you, a student last year did the same thing, and um, what he did is he wrote a note that said, to Mr. Noel, and he put it in the hole, and it made it look like, it's like this, is, this is a grave to Mr. Noel. What? That, that was a little bit on the dark side. Um, yeah, so uh, you can act like Kenny and not get your parents' permission, but I would recommend, you, parents, you hearing this? 
that you uh, get permission for that. Okay, so here is your assignment. Rowan and I, we're going to go out and we're going to dig ourselves some holes, but we're going to probably do it in his sandbox. Okay, all right, see you in class.